The application server demo is based on two primary pages. Both pages are built using tabbed UI components. The first page it opens is the index page. This page features grid components and features related to the grid components. If we look at this page, we can see some common features. To the right, we have a tree navigator control. Every component on this page is placed into a category based on the primary function of the component. If we open up the tree navigator, we can see we have grid layouts in one category. We can open that up and see there are some subcategories called detail views, and this will then open and show individual components that have detail views. To the left of that area, we have the home page. In the home page, we have some help concerning the home page and the various features that are available on this page. We also have some links on here which will open up videos related to features on this page. For example, we can open up a video about tree navigation and a tabbed UI. On the index page, we also have the ability to log in a user. We can log into the system using this link. We can log in a user. To find out what users are available, we also list on the main page the users that are in the system and the default password that was set for this user. So we could log in, for instance, as John Doe and use the password. Notice we also have a link on here to register a new user. If we open up the register link, we'll open up a UX component which allows us to register a new user. Once we log in, we can see a login message and the page reloads. There's also some other common features on these pages. We have on both this page and the page which shows UX components a support category. If we open support category, we can see an option called edit help. If we click on edit help, we open up a grid component that allows us to edit help text that is shown on various components. For example, on this particular component, we have a help link. If we click this, it opens up help for this particular page and a variety of detail. Almost every component has a help button in some area. This also uses a navigator control, navigator search, to search various help topics where they could be edited in this area. On the main index page, we also have the ability to open up an A5 info page, which gives info about the current server and the current uh, build that is being run in this particular application. We have a link to close all open tabs. When we're doing the demo, we may have a number of tabs open. We may desire to close all these tabs. So this will close all the tabs. We can also reload the page. Another option on both of these pages is something called Find a Feature. The categories that are shown on the page show the basic primary function of each particular component. However, most components have multiple features being displayed. If we click on Find a Feature, we open up a grid component that has a list of features that are highlighted in various components. This is a tree navigator control, tree search control. For example, we can click on action buttons. We can find every component that has an action button. For example, we can click on layout types. What this will show over here is the menu feature options that will show this particular feature. It is under grid layouts, under layout types. So we look at grids, under layout types. If we click this particular option, we will open up a series of components showing various layout types. And the component that has a action button is on the toolbar, and this is the help for that particular component. If we switch to the second page, this features UX components. Again, we have information about this page on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have a list of categories for various UX components. Again, we have Find a Feature. We click on Find a Feature, and we can look for a feature that is found in various UX components. For example, we can find a UX component that has a fade-out message. We open up this search. We can see the component that would have this. And it's under Maps, the Map category, and the actual component is called Plot Root on Map. Again, we have a support section, but in this case, we do not have the ability to show info about the particular server being used. 